2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Lighthouse Open. Our coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long, and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Nicely done. Time for the second shot into the first. And here we are with the third shot. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. This one started out on a good line. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently has a share of second place. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to play from the bunker. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. <laughs> I might need to get a lesson of you. That was well played. This one might need to get down a little. Wow, what a shot. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Bogey putt coming up here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now at 11 under for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. Just six feet between here and the hole. 
That was a gallant attempt. This is a bogey putt coming up. Okay, steady now. And this one will be for double bogey. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Teeing off here at the fourth. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. It's always a good view playing from an elevated position to the green. Opting for the 9 iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor could have been worse outside chance here for the birdie looking really good and that putt will end up short well i think they fell in love with the line forgot about the pace well that hole's behind us more to play our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Butting for birdie. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Now, eight shots back after that hole. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. That'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Where will this one end up? That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Just off the fairway in the first cut. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today.
Looks to be going with the four iron. This one looks like it's heading left here, Rich. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Pass over coming up for this fella. It's got a chance. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one might need to sit. Lovely effort, that. 14 feet to the cup. This one's online. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. He's currently in a share of sixth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are in front of a par three. <laughs> Going with a three wood here. I'd say this needs to hit a house, but there's no houses in sight. That's a good looking shot there. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Eight feet to the cup. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Our current leader is up by three shots. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. You're in the hands of the tree gods now. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, heads up here, guys. I don't know which way this one's going to come out of this stuff. Very, very deep, deep down in here. to have opted for the eight iron not sure if this one will stay on the short grass that's it it's okay 
getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. And choosing the eight iron here. They're not a bad shot, that one. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Ooh. This next part is for bogey. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Birdies are good. Harness them. Block the bogeys. They're bad. Oh, that was pure. Playing from around 240 yards. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Opting for the three wood. And here we are with the third shot. Nicely done. Seven feet to the cup. Nice stroke. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. Currently 10 under for the event. You've reached the 11th hole and the tee is yours. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Yeah, nicely played. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Ooh, right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Our leader is up by four shots now. We have a par four on this one. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. playing from around 190 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Yeah, fair effort. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, 
Well, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Currently at 10 under par overall. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. It was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. He finds himself in a share of eighth. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That's heading for the fairway. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Going with the hybrid. That's some good golf right there. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, I'm thinking about 26 feet from here. We can't make the ball. Go tap it in. And that brings to an end that hole. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Well, this should be unpredictable. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. Hitting it over here in the first place was just awful. I would blame his caddy. Getting ready to play their third. Now that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? And this one is for his par. Just didn't drop. And this one will be for bogey. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He's currently tied for 11th. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Wow, that was just striped. Sitting at nine under. Let's make a move. You're just on the fringe of the top ten. Going with the four iron here. This one's going to the right. That's a little wayward. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one.
11 feet to the cup. Looking better. Three feet to go here to the hole. The putt goes in, and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. He's currently sitting in 14th place. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. That's nine under par for the event. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. This shot is about 140 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another. A spot in the top ten on the line here if they can hold this. Ouch, that hurts. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And that's it for today. So, I'm sure this is not the performance this player would have wanted, but still, Rich, a day to try and turn things around. Yeah, not what they were looking for today, but certainly something to build on going forward. Probably not going to win this event, but still, always something to learn out there. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Lighthouse Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Well, Luke, I'm just happy to be here. Glad to be able to give uh, the folks at home a bit more perspective from down at uh, course level. Not bad. Second shot here on the first. Well struck. And here we are with the third shot.
And here we are with their four. Wow, that almost went in the hole. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for bogey. Currently eight under for the tournament. Starting off with the bogey at first, not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. Second shot on the second. Opting for the four iron here. Four right. Oh, got unlucky there. Splash. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to to deal with this with not too too much trouble. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Now coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. drop any more shots let's make this for double it's tracking oh just missed and the dreaded triple bogey putt and after that hole this is how the leaderboard looks right now well that's a shame that'll drop them down the standings that's for sure teeing off here at the third hole Going with the pitching wedge here. Quality shot, that one. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, lovely roll. And that should secure the par. Well done. Currently at minus five now for the event. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. It's always important to club down when playing from an elevated position. That might be one club too many. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. This is one of those lengthy putts. 
Good one just to get close. How good would that have been if it had dropped? And after this hole, that's how it looks. Our leader is up by four shots now. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the fifth. Wonderfully played. Oh, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. That's heading into the rough, I think. Currently minus five. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. Nice shot that, that should find the surface. A wonderful shot, well played, a chance for birdie here at the sixth. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole, this tournament. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to six under. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. This is a short par four, always a fun hole to play. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Sitting at minus six.
choosing the nine iron here. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. We've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And that's all she wrote. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And looking for the fade, but finding the straight shot. Not good. Oh, well played. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And down it goes. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Sitting at six under. A quality shot that there's a long way but I tell you what I've seen it happen before so there's a chance wow that's misjudged yeah you'll take that Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. That's not what he had hoped for. I'm pretty sure of that. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? 
Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. And that shot back in the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Opting for the six iron. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently six under for the event. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Ah, uh, yes, the gentle fade, the butter cut, if you will. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Tidy, wasn't it? John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. Looks to be going with the four iron. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? This putt to get to seven under the card. Okay, steady now. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. to have opted for the eight iron. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh. 
How did that miss? You can make this one. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. And that moves them to minus six for the tournament. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. From around 180 yards out. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Going with the four iron here. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not taking enough club to get it there. Oh, that's frustrating. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. You've arrived at a par four. They're needing to make something special happen, and I can't think of a better opportunity than now on this short par four. They've got caught up in a few of the branches. That's straight into the trees. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Well, what's he doing hitting it there in the first place, Luke? I don't understand. He made bogey yesterday, and he's looking the same score today. Uh, right up in the canopy of the trees. And here we are with the third shot. Thirteen feet to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one is for bogey. The putt drops, now at five under, heading down the stretch. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Well, that's a handy shot. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Opting for the four iron here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Now, that looked pretty good the whole way. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Never mind. Go and tap it in. Okay, let's head to the next. 
Currently five under overall. And the player steps up to this short par four. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Oh, I love that aggressive play. It's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Mm, just hammered that through the line. There's part of about six feet coming up. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will move into six under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. That dog will hunt. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Opting for the five iron. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And with it, that concludes his event. Well, Rich, an absolutely delightful day. Pleasure to share it with you and everyone watching at home. Luke, always a pleasure, my friend. Until next time. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.